What's up, guys? It's S Fan here. Um, I'm making this video, and this is something that I, I thought maybe I should tweet about, maybe maybe put up a, a Facebook post about. But uh, I was literally speechless. Uh, I didn't think words. I didn't think uh, I didn't think text in a tweet uh, could really do justice. Um, to how I feel about this and what this really means to me. Uh, so I thought a video would have to suffice. Um, but I just hit 1,000 subs. A few days ago, I hit 1,000 subs on, on Twitch. And that is a really, really, really big deal. And I kind of want to do a little bit more of a, a sit-down, real talk type of video to talk to you guys about it and, and let you guys know how I feel and kind of how this all this this whole thing kind of happened. The channel has grown quite a bit since the beginning, and and not everybody really knows the whole story on on where I've been, where I'm at, uh, where I was. So uh, I kind of want to start with that. You know, I I never really thought that I was going to be a streamer. I never thought that I was going to be a streamer. Uh, I never thought I was even going to play WoW again. Honestly, I never thought I was going to play WoW again. I thought that I was going to be a football coach. Uh, high school, college, uh, played a little bit of football, and uh, whenever I got to college, I got hurt and I couldn't play. So I didn't do anything for a little bit, and then I got back involved whenever the new coaching staff came in, and I worked with that staff for maybe 12 to 16 hours a day uh, for about two years straight as a student, and uh, I was severely underpaid for what I was doing. But it was kind of under the stipulation that, hey, like, you're going to have a full-time job. You'll be good. Don't worry about it. We will got you covered. But what happens a week before graduation is that stuff kind of falls through. Uh, things don't work out. And I'm told that it looks like they're not going to be able to make a position for me whenever I graduate. So here I am, <clears throat> a week out <laughs> from graduation. Uh, no work. Uh, I was injured. I had some injuries and stuff. You guys have heard about my back injuries in the past. Had to get some surgery. Um, and I didn't know what I was going to do. And I heard about Elysium. Uh, that was the first time I, I heard about Elysium. It's this, this, I, I could play vanilla WoW again. All right. And I was like, okay, well, I might freaking screw around on there for a little bit, make some videos just to kind of stay fresh uh, while recovering from an injury. All right. So... I make some videos, and over the course of the next, you know, about three months, three and a half, four months, uh, I decide to start streaming. And I remember I peaked at about 50 people on my first ever stream, and this was back on YouTube. And, you know, people, they see this vanilla rap paladin, and, uh, you know, I, I hadn't been playing for a lot of years, and, and I wasn't like a longtime private server player or anything like that. But uh, I, I just happened to retain a lot of my knowledge, a lot of what I knew about red and what I knew about paladins. Uh, from back in the day and uh, I was performing pretty well so people were interested in what I see like I said about 50 people on my first ever live stream and my my stream ends up growing to the point where there's like 500 or 600 people watching a stream uh, this is after the classic announcement and this is on YouTube this is some vanilla rep paladin right getting 500 or 600 viewers and I got to the point where I thought I was you know approaching full time Right, I was like, you know what, this might be a legitimate thing for me in the future. Uh, this might be something that, that I, can, I can really do. And uh, right when I think that, hey, like this is starting to pay off, this is starting to work, I get banned. <laughs> so I, I get banned as a DMCA copyright ban. I got copy striked uh, for streaming vanilla WoW private server. It's, it, it, yeah, it's illegal. So like, yeah, I got, I got banned for streaming it. Uh, over the course of the next two months, I kind of farted around. I, I didn't really do anything. I didn't know what I was going to do. Uh, do I, do I want to make videos? Can I do this? Can I do that? I didn't even know what I could do, right? Uh, in that time, I had actually made friends with McConnell and Asmongold, and we used to play PUBG like every night. Every night we used to play PUBG. And one night we were talking, and I was telling them that I was kind of considering going back to YouTube after I got unbanned because I couldn't stream vanilla anymore. And they basically sat me down and told me just to keep grinding. Uh, even though my viewership was 
basically like a fraction of what it was on YouTube. Like I was, I was getting no viewers compared to the 500 plus that I was getting on YouTube. And, uh, you know, they, they just told me like, Hey, like you, you got to keep grinding. Like you're, you know, you'll get there, you'll be fine. And, uh, not to put words in his mouth, but, uh, that night Asman actually told me that, uh, he thinks that myself and a few others could actually be some of the fastest growing streamers in their section in 2018 in this year. And, uh, Asman's a lot like me where he does not really want to like pander. He doesn't like to like blow smoke up people's butt just to like make them feel good or whatever. Um, but despite that, I, I thought he was just wrong. <laughs> like I thought, I thought there was certainly no way. Uh, not for me, not without classic. There was no way that, that I was going to, uh, I was really going to be able to take off as a streamer, uh, without my game, you know, without a game. So, so I just, you know, not about other people, but about me, I just thought he was flat out wrong. And, uh, I don't know, you know, I, I went from, from not making really much money for my first few months of streaming. Uh, I didn't even have like a sub button or, or like a. I didn't have a sub button until like right before I got banned or a sponsor button on YouTube. Uh, I didn't have uh, I didn't have a super chat button. I didn't have PayPal donations or anything set up for, for a long time. So I went from really like not making much, if at all, like any money from streaming the first few months to almost being on the brink of full time for about a month, month and a half. And, uh, you know, right before my, my DMCA ban for streaming Vanilla Wild Private Server. And I go from that where I think I'm going to get there. I think I'm this close to, to being like, you know what, I can say I'm full time to all of a sudden losing my stream and basically just not making any money for the next four to five months, making very little money uh, for the next four to five months. Uh, so much so that I ended up here where I'm shooting this video at, uh, at 3 a.m. on a Monday night back at the football stadium. So... Around Project 80 time, I was having I, I was having a lot of trouble making ends meet, and uh, I, I wasn't making much money. Like I said, I just gotten denied Twitch partnership, so uh, that was a real, real shot in the nads to me because uh, they've they've updated the affiliate agreement since. But uh, you know, being an affiliate versus being a partner is a, is a big deal, um, and I was just in a real bad spot. Uh, so much so that. The new staff, this is now the third staff uh, here at SMU, heard about what I did with the old staff, and they, uh, they basically contact me about uh, coming back, they, they, coming back and helping out with football practice. And uh, they said they couldn't really offer me much as far as, like, a uh, full-time job or anything like that goes. But uh, I, I, it was basically like an opportunity, right? It was, it was an opportunity for me to help make ends meet and I kind of had to take it. I, I, I didn't really, I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no to it. Um, because I, I thought there may be a point where I would basically, I'd have to bow out of streaming um, to be able to pay for my expenses, to be able to take care of myself. Um, despite being in such a bad spot and, uh, you know, kind of preparing a backup plan, right? You know, just in case things like hit the fan. Uh, you know, I, I listened to McConnell, I listened to Asmund Gold, and I just kept grinding, just kept chopping away. And uh, it really was not easy, but people started to take notice of me and my channel uh, on Twitch. And they uh, they saw how serious I was. They saw that, uh, you know, they, they saw that I wanted to stream. I, I, I was serious about streaming. It's just that, uh, you know, I, I was growing slowly, right? I didn't really have a game, right? My main game is Vanilla WoW. It's classic WoW, and I can't even play my game. Like I, I don't, I don't have, uh, like try. Okay, so trying to grow a stream or like a channel uh, on like a you know you're, you're streaming games, the gaming platform, and uh, without having like a game, it, it doesn't really make much sense. But uh, you know, I, I'm playing quite a bit of retail nowadays. It's like you know, at least half the time, if not more, I'm playing retail now. Uh, I play other stuff too, but that's because people that are the most interested in classic and, and what I have to, to offer to provide knowledge wise and, and share my experience with, uh, the people that are most interested in classic are the same people watching streams in the wow section. So, 
you know, I do stream other games as well, like I said. And uh, I'm going to continue to do that because I don't think that I have that opportunity once Classic comes. Um, it's just kind of going with that growth, kind of keep pushing that, uh, kind of keep chopping away, just like I said. Uh, at the beginning of this last month, I went to DreamHack in Austin. I got to go to DreamHack in Austin. And I remember showing up to Austin. I went to Austin with 8,700 followers and about 400 subs. 8,700 followers and about 400 subs on Twitch, uh, which are, I mean, just fine numbers. Honestly, that's just fine numbers. I'd been grinding. I, I, I'd, been, I'd been chopping away, and I had been growing my channel uh, at, at a slow but steady rate. Um, not really even that slow, to be honest. Not really even that slow, but, but at a steady rate. Uh, it just wasn't like... It wasn't there. It wasn't where I was at YouTube yet. And um, I was I was finally getting to the point of like feeling on the brink of being full-time again, which uh, I, I started getting that back after like six, maybe seven months uh, since my ban. You know, I was trying to get that feeling again where it's like, hey, like I can get there. You know, I can, I can be full-time. And um, <clears throat> sorry, I got distracted. Um, but yeah, since then, uh, my channel has absolutely exploded. Uh, the outpouring of support I've gotten from viewers, from other streamers, uh, just from the Twitch community in general has, has completely blown my mind. Uh, in about two and a half weeks, uh, it's been about two and a half weeks since I came back from Austin. And in that time, I've gotten partnered. I've been on AllCraft. Uh, at the time of this video, I'm uh, I'm just under fifteen hundred followers. Excuse me, fifteen thousand followers on Twitch. So I've almost doubled in uh, in almost three weeks, right? Uh, and like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm over a thousand subscribers. Uh, I never, 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 never in a million years thought that this was going to happen uh, before WoW Classic. I certainly did not think this was going to happen before Classic, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, just, I don't really have a game. Like I said, I don't have my game. And uh, even with that, you know, here we are. You know, I'm averaging 500 to 600 viewers a stream again after eight months since my ban. And uh, I have over 1,000 subs. Uh, in the next few months, you know, it's a good time to say. So, so in the next few months, uh, I'm going to start looking at the things I need to do. Uh, the, th the things that are necessary to be able to move. Uh, I want to move down to Austin, focus on content creation and streaming 100%. Uh, that's going to mean getting a car. That's going to mean figuring out a housing situation. That's going to mean, uh, I mean, just, just whatever, right? W whatever I need to do to, to uh, get that figured out and, and within the next few months kind of save up enough money to be able to, uh, to take care of what I need to take of here at home. And then, uh, and then move down to Austin. Uh, man, uh, one thing's for sure, right? So, like, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm not big on like trying to pander to people or anything like that. But this, this really, this wouldn't be happening without the support of uh, some guys who've like really been pushing me, promoting me, giving me opportunity um, to to do the best that I can do, and. Uh, It'd be kind of ignorant, right? It'd be kind of ignorant to act like these guys haven't had a big impact on me or my channel. So uh, I just want to talk real quick. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to try and keep it short. Um, Professor Akali, for one. Um, Professor Akali has actually watched my stuff since, like, the very beginning. Like, one of my really, really old videos that I did with Dracova. Uh, I remember Professor Akali commenting on it, and I think he had, like, 60 or 70,000 subs at the time you know his own channel has grown like you know five times the size that it was then um and uh you know he's, he's always had my back he's always been there to give me advice um uh, be be a, a positive force make a positive impact on me and uh crap he's he's even giving me a couch to sleep on whenever i whenever i go down to visit austin to do irl streams with everybody and uh, speaking of IRL streaming, uh, that, that leads to train wrecks. And, uh, you know, train wreck, who <laughs> I was 100 Andy, dude. I, you know, I, I, uh, I didn't have any viewers. 
and he still brought me into his community with cooking streams. It started with his comeback stream that he had after being sick for like almost a month. Uh, he had his big comeback stream and, <clears throat> you know, eventually other IRLs too. That's been huge for me and uh, it's been huge for my channel. And uh, man, this, another thing with Train Rex too is like, Train, he is so, he, he's a guy who's just, he's very, very generous. Right, whether that's with his giveaways or, or or whatever, but even to other streamers, like he's he's somebody who's he's very down to earth and uh, willing to help other people out, and uh, I, I benefited from that a lot. He he's he's been really really big time and uh, helping me out and helping me grow for sure. Um, soda popping, soda popping. Uh, actually. Uh, <laughs> So Pop and I actually met, first met on the Vanilla server whenever I had like 500 subs on YouTube. And uh, there's kind of a funny story with that where uh, I basically, I told Soda, I didn't know it was Soda Poppin, okay? I, I had no idea it was Soda Poppin. I told him that I'm a streamer. If he wants to join our guild, he can check out my YouTube channel and check out my streams. He's like, oh, I'm a streamer too, right? Just being cheeky. And I tell him, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Well, dot, dot, dot. I got dibs on streaming the raids though. So, so like, at the time, Soda, I think, had like one and a half million followers on Twitch. So the guy with 500 subs on YouTube told him that he couldn't stream <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'm already streaming, right? I don't know. I, it's, just, it's really funny how that worked out. Now, he couldn't stream it anyway because of DMCA and all this stuff. Just inherently, it's just really funny. I had no idea this was Soda popping until like a few weeks later. Uh, he ends up joining my guild, raids MC with us, and... Uh, after the classic announcement, he actually he quit for a while after that. And after the classic announcement, he came back and he streamed with me for a few days. And he, or maybe it was a couple days, but then he name dropped me, like, I think a couple times on Allcraft, which I'm pretty sure to date is the most viewed Allcraft episode so far. Which is, uh, you know, they're, they're talking classic after the announcement. And he was like, oh, yeah, I was on stream with S-Fan. He's a rep paladin. Does his thing and this and that. And my Discord DMs just exploded. Just just straight exploded. And uh, like, I just remember I was like, holy crap, dude. I just got mentioned on all craft. And I'm I'm a private server memer, dude. Like, what, like, what the crap is going on? And um, he's just been incredibly encouraging, man. I've literally, in person, I've literally been standing there in person and seeing Soda Pop and vouch for me to other big time streamers. Like, just th that that means so much to me. I, I think somebody's word is one of the most valuable things that you've got. And if somebody's willing to if somebody's willing to use their word to give you favor, that's a really, really big deal to me. That means the world to me. Um, <clears throat> of course. Of course. Uh, stay safe and tips. Um, for so long, like hating on Blizzard and, and trying to break the rules was kind of the cool thing to do. And, uh, after doing our due diligence, right, this is after my band, trying to do our due diligence, spend the time trying to figure out like what we could do, which was nothing. <laughs> uh, stay safe. And I kind of teamed up and stay safe. And I had already been friends for a little bit now. And w we kind of teamed up to say like, okay, look, this is something we want to, we want to make a future for ourselves. And if we want to make a future for ourselves, we need to do things the right way uh, and create content for, or like, in order to create content for Vanilla WoW, like, full-time, right, whenever it's finally going to be official. And uh, even though we've been private server content creators, uh, you know, it, it's just like a lot of the people who play on and a lot of the people who even develop private servers, uh, it's just happenstance. Like, there's there's there was no other option there's no one in sight and uh that, that's just the only way to do it so that's where we had been and then all of a sudden that changed whenever the classic was announced all of a sudden there was an end in sight there is going to be a real classic so then as a content creator you you're you're stuck and you have to do things the right way in order to do things to do what you really want to do for your future and i i also think it's part of being an adult and part of growing up and it's like as much as this is a game and you know, we have, we have a lot of fun doing it. It's also, if you want to do something as part of your career, you have to be an adult about it too. And, and that's the thing that, 
that's that's kind of the conclusion that we came to. Uh, Tips got into content creation after the classic announcement, and he bought into what we wanted to do, and he joined us for Classic Casts, which uh, to now has become, I mean, it, it's it has become the premier classic podcast. Uh, it's growing every week, and uh, I had a football coach. I had a football coach in high school who he always said, "Good things happen to people who work hard and do things right." I literally, I have it written, I have it written on a sheet of paper, and I think it's in my room somewhere. Good things happen to people who work hard and do things right. And uh, I think as long as, as we can do that, the Class Cash crew, uh, it looks like things are look, or they're looking up for all of us. And uh, it's been really, really good. Really, 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 really good for all of us. Um, <clears throat> of course, and, and I mentioned both these guys. Um, I mentioned both of you guys earlier, Asmund Golden McConnell. Uh, Asmund's been there supporting me, giving me advice, hosting me, promoting me on his streams uh, pretty much from the moment he realized I was streaming on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> the day I first talked to Asmund Gold, we were actually in a Discord together, and it was, it was a Discord of a certain other YouTuber uh, who had gotten banned right before I did. And basically... Uh, came to the conclusion that I was just about the only person, I was just about the only other person speaking in that channel who had any sense about them. And uh, I, I really didn't, I, I didn't really reach out to Asmongold at all uh, when I started playing retail. Uh, I just started playing it and streaming it and doing my own thing. But one day, one day I'm sitting in Dalaran trying to figure out how to play Legion. And I run into Asmongold while he's just jumping around on his mouth. And... I was like, oh, okay, it's Asmund. I click on him, slash wave. He sees me, clicks on me, and he's like, what the F? And he G invites me. He invites me to his guild, and uh, here we are. You know, <laughs> you know. so that was, the, that was the first time I, uh, I talked to Asmund and met him in game. And uh, the first time I met McConnell. The first time I met McConnell. Uh, kind of similar. I was sitting in a Discord by myself. And he hops in and asks if I'm the S fan that makes, like, Vanilla Rep videos. And he's like, dude, I'm literally watching one of your streams right now. And from day one, dude, from day one, he's been shouting me out on his own stream. He'll even go into, like, other streams that I'm on. Like, I'll be streaming with Trainwrecks or whatever. And, uh, like, I'll be on screen and something will happen. And people ask, like, oh, who is this? And it's like, he, he posts my Twitch. He posts my Twitter. And uh, just, he posts my stuff in their chats when I'm on. Like, just, like, shilling for me super hard, dude. He, like... He he's been he's been so big time, uh, so so big time. Uh, actually, dude, he was on Asmund's stream the other day, and this is the day after I got a thousand subs. This is the day after I got a thousand subs, and he mentioned it on stream to Asmund. I was like, oh, okay, that's awesome, man. Congratulations, because Asmund didn't know yet, and uh, I kind of, uh, I kind of, dude, it hit me in the feels because I look at the chat. And the entire chat is just littered, just overrun with S fandom emotes. <laughs> like you can't see a thing other than S fandom emotes. And just to see, like, I don't know, just seeing how how supportive everyone is, uh, even in somebody else's stream. Uh, I, I just did not expect that at all, and uh, that really put a smile on my face. Um, <clears throat> so. Other than that, there there is one more thing. There's one more thing. One more. Uh, actually, it's one more group. And uh, I don't think I'd, I'd, I. Mean, I I wouldn't be. I, I without without this, I wouldn't be here doing this or or having my channel grow as much as it has at all. Because uh, I wouldn't be here without my guild. And uh, that's raid three. Right, those of you guys who've been watching for a long time, uh, you guys know all about Raid Three. You guys remember Navani and Kamiko and Debbie and the whole gang. And uh, I, 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 I could talk about everybody. That'd be an hour-long video. Um, this is, I don't know how long this is, but uh, one guy that I really want to signal single out, you know, outside of the guild. That I mean basically trusted me i was a pug i was a pug whenever i joined the guild uh you know became a raider eventually became an officer and and eventually 
was given guild leader and I, I led a raid, I, read, I led the guild, and I, I put my heart and soul into the guild. I put everything I had into it. And, uh, you know, the, the, I remember the day that we basically, we got stuck and uh, we had to disband the guild. We were eight out of nine AQ40. I had basically, I had dumped the entire guild bank pretty much um, into buying consumables for, for raiders, for pugs. Uh, for everybody to, to try and push the guild as hard as we could, but uh, that was at the point where my stream had died. I, I couldn't stream on YouTube anymore. It was hard to recruit. People were quitting the game. Uh, we had a lot of people have real life stuff come up, and uh, I remember being there in... <sighs> Dude, I, I, I was like... Yeah, I mean, I, I was... I was teary-eyed. I was not... I was not happy. Uh, I remember when, when, when we had to disband the guild, like I was, that's one of the most sad moments that I had felt, uh, which sounds so ridiculous. Like, oh, okay, your guild disbanded, boohoo. But like your, your guild in Vanilla WoW is like your family and those people in that guild and everything that we accomplished meant so much to me. And I mean, I, I would love to play with so many of those guys again. Um, but yeah, just just getting the opportunity to lead that guild and for people to to trust me, to listen to me, and and to accomplish as much as we did, uh, really really means a lot to me. And if it wasn't for me being in that guild and getting to lead that guild, then my stream wouldn't be anywhere. And uh, I'm gonna single one guy out. Everybody loves to hate him, <laughs> but to an even greater extent, it's deputy because really deputy and, and if you guys have seen my video vanilla rat paladin number one raid dps deputy's a guy who doesn't listen to anybody <laughs> and that can be really good and really bad <laughs> and uh i remember whenever i was a pug and he was looking to recruit for raid three Sanctum Raid 3's Molten Core. And I'm like, hey, I'm a rep paladin. I know what I'm doing. Is there any way I could join your, your MC as a pug? He asks. And the guild leader of Sanctum says, hell no. We're not, you guys can't take a rep paladin. It's not his raid, but he says Raid 3 can't take a rep paladin. He's like, sorry, man. The, you know, the guild leader officers are saying that uh, I can't take you, right? He inspects me. He sees I got my Lionheart Helm. I got my Arcanite Reaper. Uh, you know, I, I am pretty, you know, pre-bis, close to. And a few minutes later, he's like, you know what, dude? Like, F these guys. <laughs> like, we don't have enough people to, to feel the raid anyway. Like, I, I'd be an idiot to not bring you. So, you know, we go in, and I decide to record it. I decide to record it. That's not a stream. I decide to record it. And uh, I make that video, and he's like, man, this, the whole point of this raid is to beat this rep paladin and all this. And he hams it up, and... Uh, you know, I, I eventually, I, I get in the guild, right? I get in the guild, uh, I, get, I get a G invite, and I become a raider, and uh, <laughs> as much crap as I may have had to deal with, with having him as an officer while I was a guild leader, uh, none of this, like, period, point blank, end of discussion, none of this would have happened if Deputy... <laughs> would have followed directions and not invited me to that raid. So people would ask me all the time, like, why is Deputy still an officer? And I'd be like, you guys, I, I literally, like, I, I, like, Deputy, I mean, he, he's he's the reason why I'm even able to do all this. So that's why, like, just like McConnell, Deputy's another guy, like, I'll always have his back. <laughs> no matter how much... No matter how, how much he irritates me. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So, anyways, guys. It's, uh, it's like 3.30. How long was this video? Jesus. It's 3.30 a.m. on a Monday night. And I'm sitting here in a football stadium. And I could not think of a way to express my gratitude and how much 
your guys' support, your views, you know, donations, bits, subs means to me. And to get a thousand subs before Classic has even come out absolutely blows my mind. Um, just again, I want to say thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys on stream.